So far, all of the reactions that we've talked about involving ortho, meta, para direction have had one substituent on them. But it is conceivable that we could have more than one substituent. And so let's look at dye substituted. And of course, this concept will extend into further substitutions on the molecules. So let's go back to one of these that we could have made, the para um, nitrotoluene. Now, in this case, if we have this, and let's just say we're going to nitrate this again, since we've already looked at that reaction. So we'll need our sulfuric acid in here, um, simply because this is a deactivated ring, and we'll have to push that reaction forward. Now let's look at what these directing groups are doing. Well, let's start up here with the alkyl group. Alkyl groups are ortho para directors. So that would indicate that we'd have substitution at the ortho position or the other ortho position or the para position. Well, the para position is now taken up by a nitro group. So that one is not really possible anymore. Now let's look at the nitro group. Nitro groups are meta direction. And it's meta to the nitro group. Well, if we look at that one, two away, oh, that is the same position. So that is telling us that when this reaction occurs, it will happen at this position. Ortho to the alkyl group and meta to the nitro group. Uh, which is symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter which position we're going for. Either one of these is, is the same. So they're both pointing at the same position. Now it's a little bit easier to consider what will happen when both directing groups are saying that position right there. Um, now, what happens when one of them is saying this position and the other one's saying that position? So what if they kind of disagree on where the substituent should go? So let's draw up a situation where that will happen. If we just move the nitro group over one into the meta position, we can, ha we can see this effect. So we'll put the nitro group here. And now let's look at the positions where the alkyl group is directing. That one is directing here, here, and here. So I'll put like little arrows there. Okay. Ortho and para. Now the nitro group is directing meta. Now one of the meta positions is already taken up, so the nitro group is directing right here. I'll draw a bigger arrow for that one, just to differentiate it. And I'll just write NO2 is directing in that position. So what would happen under our similar reaction conditions, a nitrating condition? And we have a competition. Now what's going to win? So I'll draw up what we're starting off with. And uh, there could be more than one product, but let's go with this just for now. Now, when there's a competition between where on the molecule this could go. The stronger activating group will win the competition. 
because it is feeding electron density in. And so that's the one that's going to make the reaction go faster. So it tends to win in the contest of where the group's going to go. So one of the positions that it could go is right here in the para position, right? That is one of the positions that it's directing. Another potential spot is in an ortho position. Now the ortho positions are different, right? The position on the side that has the nitro group is different than the position on the other side. And so we could put it here, we could put it there. The reason why it's going to go here is because there's steric hindrance for that position. And so it's much less likely for it to come in here with this nitro group and the um, alkyl group blocking that position. In this case, we have a pair direction. There's only one group in here. It could approach from this side. Only one group there. It can, can, it can approach from that side. So that's why we really don't see uh, substitution here steric hindrance. We can look at uh, kind of a resonance picture of each of these to get a better idea of why it's going in one direction or another. So I'm going to try to draw um, Kind of a hybrid of the resonance picture, so I don't have to draw three or or so different resonance pictures here. So there's going to be a slightly positive charge that exists right here when we have the meta position. There will be a small plus charge next to the nitro group. Of course, that will be much smaller than uh, the charge that exists next to the electron donating group, because this will be the dominant one where the plus charge is up here. I'll circle that one. There will also be a slight positive charge in this position. And this one will be a little bit bigger. So biggest positive charge Next biggest, smallest in this case. For this structure, similarly, we're going to have a plus charge here, here, and there. And same kind of story. This is going to have the largest positive charge, next largest, lowest. Now, what happens if we have groups that are similarly donating, similarly directing? But they're conflicting in where it should go. So, this is a potential situation where we could have this di-substituted alkyl, and they're in the pair position relative to each other, and we add an electrophile to this. Now, what could happen is really these are two separate positions, right? It can go here or it can go there. The top alkyl group is saying it should go in this position or that position. The bottom alkyl group is asking for it to go here. These are similar donating ability, similar a uh, lot of ways, like sterics aren't too much different. And so realistically, this is very hard to predict and it would be hard to say there's one over the other. What will happen is you're going to get a lot of both. So you're going to get this and the other, and it 
again, will be very difficult for you to predict without, of course, doing the experiment, um, what the major product is. They're roughly equivalent. So if I were faced with a problem like this, you may just want to draw it in the generic form. So that's one of the ways to draw a generic benzene ring. And then just say it has substituted somewhere on this ring because realistically any one of these positions is equally um, available in this case. So we'll just say somewhere on the ring uh, we've substituted an electrophile. And I expect that in a lot of ways, these are going to be very close to 50-50 of each other. So that's what will happen when you have two substituents that have some directing ability on an aromatic ring. In some cases, they complement each other and both direct in the same position. In other cases, they conflict and you'll have to decide. Giving preference to the more activating group.